Welcome back to another video. It's Shoddy Trades. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how I use fair value gaps and inverse fair value gaps and along with Gobok for certain certain entries. Uh, to start off, I use the 10 minute, 17 minute, 20 minute and 81 minute for to look for my inverses or regular fair value gaps. Um, so if, uh, if I go on to the 17 minute, I'm just looking for fair value gaps or inverses that are holding or um, to reject from. So in this case, we have this inverse right here and we have a regular fair value gap and we you see our wick, this wick of this candle had tapped into the breaker area before continuing higher. And if I go to a lower time frame, you'll see how price came into the fair value gaps. And then on the three minute, which is what I trade, you'll see how the wick was just perfect off that breaker, that top, uh, off that top line of the breaker area. All right. So that's just one simple example. Um, I'm just gonna go through and find more examples to show you what I'm talking about. So we're on the 17 minute. Um, I'm just looking for ones that hold. So we're right here. It looks like we have invert and inverse right here. Very small. But you see how when price breaks through this fair value gap, it rejects it perfectly. And then eventually we do come back up. But we don't we don't tap it again, but these rejections right here work beautifully. And then you can and if we go to a lower time frame. here after we broke through it we had the first few rejections and then uh this, this looks like i don't know what kind of wick that is but we had a wick uh, into it as well and then on the lower time frame it's a um we broke through it but obviously as you see on the higher time frame we don't break through that we still hold so the that this is also a reclaim a reclaim model showing so you could have entered that as well um let's go to a 20 minute 20 minute time frame let's see here what we have here any good examples So we have an inverse right here. I like using inverses more than um, plain old fair value gaps as well. So you see price breaks through, comebacks up, rejects. If we go to a lower time frame. As you see, price comes up, rejects multiple times, and if we go to replay mode, I'm gonna assume this is a, a reclaim model. Oh, yeah, look at that, it's in the breaker too. That's, that's funny. So yeah, we do have a reclaim and the breaker area. And then it sells off. So we'll go back to, just go back to EU, just find another 20 minute. 20 minutes, and we'll move these two. Let's see here. We have this right here. 
we have a tiny tiny one right here, right here as well that was part of that wick rejection to the breaker you can see that when that one held um under the previous days here we have a few unfilled and then this reclaim as well as this 20 minute holding as well so you could just see how in terms of fair value gaps and inverses they just hold i like how they hold better and you can clearly you can clearly see um how they hold like even this right here this inverse so we have this right here and then you see the wick was like Perfect. After we broke through it to the upside, that wick rejection was perfect. And if we go to the lower time frame here, right here, you can see how after we broke through it, we came back down and like barely tapped it, but we rejected a gold block level. And that rejection was perfect. And then price continued up higher. And then the timing wise, we're in that distribution stage of the day after making that low the day from the rejection of the low. So yeah, you can see how you just if you're following bias and you use the gold box rejections with um, the inverses, it works more times than not. It works beautifully. I don't really use the 81 minute as much. Um, I mean, I mainly stick to the 17 minute and um, 20 minute, but 81 minute works the same way. We'll find some more 20 minute here. So we have. We have a small, small, small inverse right here. And you can see another wick rejection after taking it to the upside. Right here. So this, as you see, it doesn't hold on the smaller time frame, but on the higher time frame it does. So that's what you want. That's why you always want to be looking for a higher time frame. In terms of that, like the, even the five minute, it doesn't even have, like I don't I don't look at higher time frame often. Like I'd mainly stick to the three minute. But in terms of cases like that, you you want to look at the time frame above just to see what's going on. So like the three minute, the candles broke broke above the the inverse, but then closed back below. But on the five minute, there was only, there was a close above, but then only wick rejections and then the continuation. So that's what you want to be looking for. So just be careful in cases like that. All right. Um, keep look. I'll just keep, keep going, searching for a couple more examples to show you guys. And then head off. So we'll do another, so... 17 minute just gonna I'm just, I'm just finding random examples here and I'm just gonna show you how why I like I'm gonna show you more inverse examples as I prefer prefer inverses you see right here we had this bearish fair value gap, got broken through to the upside, and then we rejected once, came up, came back down again, taking this liquidity and do or inducement, and then rejected again, continued higher. So I'm gonna go to re replay mode, move this back, and we go to three minute here. And then as you see, we broke through it, 
and look at the rejections from Gobok. After we come up, break through it. We reject Gobok the levels like three times, that level three times, and then it continue higher and then come back down again, reject the low the Gobok low perfectly, wick into the fair value gap, the inverse, and then continues higher. So that's what you want to be looking for when entering from inverses or, or fair value gaps from the time from any time frame that is um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it makes sense um leave your thoughts below please like and comment for more